1991, I had maybe the most profound and transformative experience of my life. I was in the third year of my seven-year undergraduate degree. <clears throat> I took a couple victory laps in there. And I was on a college choir tour up in Northern California. And we had stopped for the day after all day on the bus, and we, we were relaxing next to this beautiful, idyllic lake in the mountains. And there were crickets and, and birds and frogs uh, making noise. And as we sat there, over the mountains coming in from the north were these Steven Spielbergian clouds rolling toward us. And as the clouds got about halfway over the valley, so help me God, every single animal in that place stopped making noise at the same time. This electric hush, as if they could sense what was about to happen. And the clouds came over us, and then boom, this massive thunderclap and sheets of rain. It was just extraordinary. And when I came back home, I found a poem by the Mexican poet Octavio Paz, and decided to set it to music, uh, a piece for choir called Cloudburst, which is the piece that we'll perform for you in just a moment. Now, fast forward to just three years ago, and we released to YouTube this, the Virtual Choir Project, uh, 185 singers from 12 different countries. You can see my little video there, conducting these people alone in their dorm rooms or in their living rooms at home. Two years ago, on this very stage, we premiered Virtual Choir 2, 2,052 singers from 58 different countries. This time performing a piece that I'd written called Sleep. And then just last spring, we released Virtual Choir 3, Water Night, another piece that I'd written. This time, nearly 4,000 singers from 73 different countries. And when I was speaking to Chris about the future of virtual choir and where we might be able to take this, he challenged me to push the technology as far as we possibly could. Could we do this all in real time? Could we have people singing together in real time? And with the help of Skype, that is what we are going to attempt today. Now, we'll perform Cloudburst for you. The first half will be performed by the live singers here on stage. I'm joined by singers from Cal State Long Beach, Cal State Fullerton, and Riverside Community College, some of the best amateur choirs in the country. And <laughs> and in the second half of the piece, the virtual choir will join us, 30 different singers from 30 different countries. Now, we've pushed the technology as far as it can go, but there's still less than a second of latency, but in musical terms, that's a lifetime. We deal in milliseconds. So what I've done is I've adapted Cloudburst so that it embraces the latency and, and the, the performers sing into the latency instead of trying to be exactly together. So uh, with deep humility and for your approval, we present Cloudburst.
hay que dormir con los ojos abiertos hay que soñar con las manos hay que dormir con los ojos abiertos soñemos sueños activos de río buscando su cauce sueños de sol soñando sus mundos hay que dormir con los ojos
Beth. Annabelle, where are you? Thank you.